welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is currently a so today is currently a Saturday. Um, I'm not working today. Some weekends I do work, uh, but today I'm not working. I've just got the day free. We haven't got nothing planned. Joe's gone to work. Um, yeah, it's currently ten o'clock. I've been up for around half hour. I quickly ran the straighteners from my hair, brushed my teeth, did my put some moisturiser on. I put some bleach in our bin with some hot kettle water. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's all I've done this morning. But for today's video, I thought we would do a bit of a get my shit together, get out of my rut, get my motivation back because I feel like lately I've just been slacking. I was a lot worse a couple of weeks ago. You know, I was really negative, didn't want to do anything, you know, I didn't want to tidy, didn't want to organise, didn't want to buy new clothes, just all of that. And that's normally the things that I love. Today I'm literally going to revamp the whole house, I'm going to reorganise, I'm going to deep clean everything. I need to do washing, our washing basket is literally overflowing, you could fit all our washing into two washing baskets at the minute. Uh, that's basically because I need to do a white wash and a dark wash. And I did say to Jill, don't do any washing during the week because I want to keep it to the weekend. Also, he did a load of washing a couple of weeks ago and one of his most expensive jumpers, he shrinked in the tongue dryer. So that is now currently my jumper. So I do not trust him doing anything in the house anymore. It's the kind of dirt where it looks fine from far, but once you get up close, it's, it's not nice. Like it, it could look a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, yeah, so I think I said I've got loads of new deliveries. I've got some new cushions for the sofa. I need to literally take everything out of my wardrobe, get rid of some stuff. I bought some new hangers so I can, you know, put more hangers in there. Some of my trouser hangers got, um, like blue bits on them. I'll show you now. Yeah, so some of my hangers got blue bits on them from where I first bought them and I just haven't took it off yet. If you can see like on here it's got like the blue cellophane on them still so i need to take all of these off of my hangers to be fair a lot of them haven't got it like joe did take some off when i first bought them but there's just a couple still on there so i need to take all those off today um but yeah i'll give you an overview of what the place looks like at the minute i really don't feel comfy in here at the moment i don't feel like there's like a common space to come back to i just feel like I just straighten my hair and it's still all bumpy. Love that for me. But yeah, I just feel it just needs a refresh. This is what it currently looks like. So I have already put bleach and hot water in there. That is disgusting. That is some recycling and that's some rubbish that I need to put in the bin, but obviously I can't because it's not a bin bag. I have loads of washing. I don't know how two people can use this many cups in one day. Someone please tell me because this happens every day. Literally all of our all of our cups are always out. Uh, I need to deep clean all this. I'm going to chuck these gloves out now because I've had them for a while and they've got like a black stain on them. What else? Yeah, I just need to like, I don't know whether you can see but it's like dirty on there. I need to restock like some of the jars and stuff. To, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to a Tesco shop because I want to have, I even want to have like um, porridge with like my chocolate protein powder in. Uh, I don't even go to the gym so I don't know why I'm using the protein powder. But yeah, I'm going to go to Tesco and do a big Tesco shop because I do want either porridge or I want to have pancakes with like strawberries, bananas and everything all over it. This is what the bathroom's looking like. It doesn't look, mm, no yeah, it does look dirty on camera actually. It's just dirty. I need to like wash this up cause that's dirty. I need to organize all this. It's normally in like size order and right now it's so messy. I need to like wipe this down and everything. As you can see, there's no towels on there cause literally every single one of my towels is in the wash. I need to empty the bin. Those just need to be a bit organized. I need to scrub this shower. Um. That bit is not looking too bad, toilet, and the monstrosity that is sat right there. What the hell? I'm really exposing myself right now, but like, as you can see, it, 
it literally can't go down. It's jam-packed. Do you when you do the thing where it looks full, so you just, you know, you shove it down, make it look a lot smaller, do it another day. No, I've done that too many times now. I can't do that anymore. So, yeah, I can't avoid that any longer. I need to do that today. But I'm actually really glad because I need to do a whitewash, but... Um... I think there's only a couple of white towels in there, so I am going to chuck some of my bedding in there. Uh, so that's going to feel so much fresher tonight. I'm just going to chuck some trainers on, actually. I've already got dressed. I'm just wearing this collusion hoodie, which has got this in the back. Can you see? Yeah. And I'm wearing some black leggings that are from Gymshark. And can I show you these? Oh, this is gonna be a struggle. Some champion white socks. Just gonna chuck on my vans. I actually think I might chuck these in the wash when I do my washing because this sole used to be so much whiter and stuff. I don't know whether that's bad chucking it in the wash. Maybe I should just soak these in the sink. I don't know. Maybe I'll chuck these in the wash, but I also need to wash these trainers. These ones. I really need to wash these ones because they're so dirty. I've worn them to festivals. But I think I might actually soak these in like the washing up bowl with some vanish. Because I think that's going to bring them up the cleanest. And I don't know if I should be putting these in a white wash. Even though they're white, I don't know. I'm a bit scared. One thing about me is I never take a bag anywhere. And now that I'm vlogging, obviously I normally just carry my keys and my phone with me. Um, when I go to the shops. And then... I take a a bag. I, need, I can't deal with my hair right now. Maybe I should just brush it. Um, yeah, I normally never take a bag shopping. I normally just take my car keys, my phone, and then I take a bag from my car. That's that's how you know you're grown up when you keep shopping bags in your car. Okay, but. Yeah, I normally just take those three things, but obviously with my vlog camera as well, I'm going to be juggling everything, so I'm going to have to take my bum bag shopping. I might not even vlog anything in Tesco, let's be real, because I am shitting myself, let's be honest. Even just like a cute little montage of me putting stuff in the trolley, that might be cute, I don't know. We will see. Do you know I just moaned about there being loads of cups in the washing up? I'm going to add another one. Now you're probably sick of seeing Dotty do tricks, but look at this. Wait! sick if you ask me. I just pulled up to Tesco and I thought you'd, I'd just show you that I am a shopping list kind of gal. I love lists. My notes are literally full. I would show you but obviously you'd be able to see everything. Yeah, that is my shopping list for today. That's everything I need to get.
guys I don't actually think I've got any oh I do so I'm thinking of having porridge with chocolate protein powder on only because it means only because porridge by itself is I don't really like it to be honest I have a lot of this is my little gym cupboard I haven't been to the gym in months but I've just I've got all this stuff in there I've even got Right, this is absolute carnage. Yeah, I've got unopened stuff in there, all different kinds of protein powders, uh, all my pre-workout and everything. Uh, I am thinking of starting back at the gym because I'm feeling... I don't feel fat or anything like that. Um, it's just basically, I was looking at some old gym photos. I popped them on the screen here. I was looking at these photos and it made me feel really depressed because I remember how I felt in these photos. I felt so much more active and so much more fit and everything so I am thinking of starting back to the gym because I used to go five days a week um, but the only trouble is is where I live there's not really many gyms from like near me so what I'm thinking of doing is just going back to the gym that I used to go to and just doing the long drive because it is a bit of a long drive from the gym to here but realistically if I don't do that I don't think I'm ever going to start back at the gym again so I think I'm going to power through and do that because I do really want to start back. I've got so many gym clothes in my bedroom. I've even got like, I think I've got brand new stuff that I've just not even wore yet and everything. So yeah, I think I'm doing that. But anyway, that is not why I came on to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I was going to have porridge uh, with like fruit and everything on. Um, but I think you can only cut this in a microwave and we don't actually have a microwave. Do you think I could, I've, mm, I'm not sure if I could cook that in, like, on the hob. What do you think? It says, put bowl in the microwave. Right. Oh, I can't be bothered to cook pancakes. Do you know, I might try cook this in, in a hob with milk. Right, that's what it's come out looking like. Is that right? I'm sorry, but look how good that looks. 10 out of 10. Well, it better taste 10 out of 10 anyway because I'm bloody starving. Right, taste test. Doesn't look as appetizing on the speed, I'm not gonna lie. I've quickly just made myself a nice coffee because that is needed before I start doing any of this cleaning because it's going to take so long and I really want to hit every part of the container. And I just did the washing up that was on the side so all i got to do is dry that, put that away and then I'm ready to organise, clean everything. I think I might start off by taking the washing down first so then that can all wash and everything while I'm cleaning. You know, it's cleaning time when the crocs go on. I'm quickly gonna sort the washing into either darks or whites. Where I've jam packed this down so much, um, there's actually a crap load of wash in there. Oh my god, I cannot believe I've got to go do this all now. This is all my washing stuff, by the way. Obviously, I have to have 10 billion different comforts. Obviously, vanish. So good for your whites and Lenore and stuff alls because they make your washing smell amazing. So, yeah, that's all my washing stuff. For my whitewash, I do a scoop of vanish, um, whatever comfort I want to use in whatever lawn or unstoppables, and the washing gel I use is very non-bio because it makes your washing smell so good.
I've just put the washing on and chucked my hair up because I was so hot and I had to put a little t-shirt on because that jumper is making me sweat so bad. So I'm going to get started. I've just chucked some music on because I'm going to like speed clean in some bits. But I just thought I'd show you my Spotify if anyone wants to have a listen. It's very organised. Yeah, it's like colour organised if you can see. I've got all different kinds of playlists. But I think I'm going to listen to the chill, chill one right now uh, and just get on with the cleaning because it is now one o'clock so I have three hours, to, well three and a half hours to clean which is not enough for me. I'm going to start, the first thing I'm going to do before I clean anything, I'm going to change this cupboard around because I don't really have that much stuff in the bottom bit, it, it's just basically like cooking oils and stuff. But I want to put my cleaning stuff in here. Yeah, so as you can see in this cupboard, it is a state. I Cleaning is like one of the most important things to me because it makes me so much more calm, so much more stress-free. Yeah, it's just because it's like so far back, I can't get to any of it and everything. So I think I'm going to minimise all this stuff down here and then put this cleaning stuff in that cupboard over there and have all the cooking oils and stuff in here because I haven't got that much of that stuff. But I've got loads of the cleaning stuff, so I'm going to switch that around. And then... Yeah, it would be just so much more easier to get to. So I've just finished cleaning the cupboard um, and reorganising it. It look, it still looks kind of messy, but it is actually organised now and at least it's in pots. And then in this cupboard I still have all my like cloths, wet wipes and sponges and that is floor cleaner at the back. And then that's just dog stuff like dog towel. Uh, there's like an extra bowl in there, leads and stuff like that. So that is organised now and I can actually get on with the cleaning because it's all so much more easier to get access to. I actually just thought it'd be so much better pulling this forward and I put some of my less used stuff at the back, like the floor cleaner that only has to be filled up every now and again. We've got a mop that you fill up and you know, pull the trigger and it sprays. So my oils are now there and gravy and I've just got the dog food, my cloths, wet wipes over there and then I just needed somewhere to store all the juices and a big bottle of lemonade. So that is now what, what the cupboard looks like. Actually it's quite organised now. in my gym cupboard because there's probably stuff in there that I've had for a while or stuff that I don't really want anymore. Just 
strawberry protein that I think we've had for a while, so I'm gonna get rid of it. A banana one. I've had that for a while, I'm gonna get rid of it. Got another pre-workout unopened, a creatine. I'm pretty sure this isn't that old. No, it's still it's still good. A good way to tell is if it's gone all lumpy inside or if it's gone hard. Uh, uh, chocolate protein. Um, I'm pretty sure this is quite new as well. I'm pretty sure I bought this one when I bought the other one that I opened this morning. So yeah, we've got two chocolate proteins now. I'm just going to give that cupboard a bit of a clean before I put everything back in. One of my favourite anti-back sprays to use is the Method ones. I've got this one. I've also got an orange one, which I think is like, um, what flavour is that one? Flavour? Scent, sorry. I'm not sure what scent the other one is. And then yesterday I bought a lavender one. Lavender is my favourite one. But before opening it, because I haven't got a lot of room in there, I need to use up my ones that I've got open already. cleaning the bathroom I had to do that off camera because my battery died and I had to put on charge for a while we've got a little visitor at the minute little beaner bots her name's Beanie it's um, Joe's dad's dog but she's coming up here for a bit to play with the dogs Dot is there <coughs> hello beans mm, and Minnie Mini Mins Doggy daycare today As I was saying I just finished cleaning the bathroom which I had to do off camera because my battery died and that's put on charge But I've literally cleaned everything I've cleaned the sink The mirror I took all this out wiped it down put it all back in uh, I put like obviously scrubbed the toilet put one of those in there I had a new one Oh, 
Okay, so as I was saying, this is the washing that I couldn't fit in the washing machine. I've already put two loads on, put a white and a dark, and I couldn't fit all that in, so that is going to have to wait till tomorrow. Um, put one of those in the toilet because I had a clean one. Emptied the bin, but I've put some stuff in there now, like that brush and stuff is like pretty much brand new, but we never use it, so I don't want it dangling on here because it just looks messy. Uh, literally scrubbed the whole shower, squeegeed it so all the water was out. Um, took all this off when I cleaned it and put it all back on neatly. Um, I wanted to put fresh towels in here, but all my white, like I want to put all my white stuff out, but they were in the wash obviously. But my next job is going to be my wardrobe. I'm literally going to take everything out and put it all back in again. But obviously I'm not going to put stuff back in again that I don't want anymore. Can you two stop? There's noise in the back of my video. It's going to be annoying. This is like a big thing because Minnie just... She's like an old lady. She's not. She's seven. But she hates every dog. So she just gets so annoyed. She's like, leave me alone. I just want to sit here, chill, vibe by myself. So this is a big thing. Um but if you could not do it now that would be fantastic because I am actually trying to film a video here any second now you could stop that would be great or you could carry on that would be fantastic as well can you just go in there go in there and do it go on go in there or stay in there go on go, go see I can't even remember what I've said now and what I haven't said. Yeah, basically going to reorganise all this and then I'm going to show you my parcels while I'm at it and put my parcels into the wardrobe because I bought some more hangers and stuff. I also brought this in with a microfiber cloth so I can, as I'm clearing and stuff, I can wipe the wardrobe down. Right, so what I'm thinking is, is put stuff that I don't want over here, stuff that I do want over here. Um, stuff that I don't want I will upload to Depop or give it away. Stuff that I do want obviously I'll put it all back in neatly organised and then I will add my new stuff in after I've showed you. Right I've had to change the angle a little bit because obviously you were balanced on my bed and when I was putting clothes on there it was making the camera wobble. And then as soon as I start videoing, they start playing again. Acting like that. Honestly, can't deal with this right now. Because these stains on my top, by the way, is from where I've been cleaning. That's why I just chucked this crappy old top on so it could get dirty. Can you not? Hello? Yes, yeah, so I did all my top half stuff. Now I'm going to do all my jeans, shorts and uh, some dresses at the back. I forgot to mention when me and Joe go to Ikea tomorrow we're gonna get two shelves so I'm gonna put it like here so then when like I have my stuff at the top of the wardrobe it isn't dangling onto my other hangers because these get tangled up in the clothes and stuff so 
So once I have a white shelf here, it should look so much more neat. What I think I might do now is put all the stuff that I want to keep back in my wardrobe. Uh, no, actually, what I'll do first is I'll show you the parcels that I bought. But I moved you a bit closer and moved you up a little bit, so hopefully you can see a bit better. But the first thing I bought was a pair of black cycling shorts from Pretty Little Thing. I ended up getting them for £8 in the end because they had 20% off, but I do feel like Pretty Little Thing always has 20% off. But they are ribbed as well, so they're going to be so much less see-through and so much more like figure hugging. These are all Pretty Little Thing and then I'll go to, on to ASOS. Um, that'd be easy so I don't have to keep saying the name but I got this green bodysuit because fits like this are so like fatter and I tried it on the other night and it looks so good on um, this was in the cell I think for like £12 and I got this in a size 8 and it's like I don't know whether you can tell but it's like that soft material it feels like velour a little bit the next thing I got was this little beigey cream crop top but it's very like boxy and wide but when it's on it looks really like it looks weird off but on it looks really good even joe said oh such a nice top and i think with like a calvin klein bra underneath so you can like see the band or whatever and i got that in a size eight probably could have got this in a size six to be honest because like look how stretch oh my god <laughs> look how stretchy it is but it is very comfortable and pretty much bought it because it was cream and I want to have less colours and more neutral colours in my wardrobe because all my shoes are colourful so sometimes I find it really hard to put outfits together and then put my shoes with it as well. The next thing I got was this little beigey cream crop top again um, but it's like that rib material and it's got the ruching on the side. It isn't that ruche when you put on, obviously when you put on it stretches a little bit, but it's just like, it pulls it quite tight around the sides. I got that in an extra small, because I think this was in the cell for like £6, and it's the only size they had. I just realised, some of the stuff I got was in sale, so if I'm showing you it, you probably won't be able to go find it, but they always have like similar stuff and everything, I, you can just use it as like an idea. The next things I got were from ASOS. So I got this one shoulder black top, um, I got this in an extra small and it's in that ribbed material again so it's very like fitting and figure hugging and so comfortable. I'm thinking I might wear this on my meal tonight actually, maybe I'll wear this with like some jeans or something, I don't know. Yeah I got that, that was £12 I think. The next thing I got is this Vibes t-shirt, this is actually from the men's section but it's like a off-white kind of colour and then it just has that right on the front which is so cool I think love the colours of that and I've got Air Forces as well it's got like red and pink on them so I think that would go together really well and that's in a size medium I wanted it really oversized because Joe's a medium and I love the way his t-shirts fit me as like an oversized fit right the next things I actually can't believe how cheap I got them yeah they were both in the sale and I also got 20% off of them. ASOS always has 20% off whenever you go on there and everything. ASOS is my favourite shop, by the way. Most, like, shop that place that I've got. Um, I always have Premier Delivery on there. I buy it every time it runs out and everything. Love ASOS. You can literally get every, sing like, every single thing you can think of on there. But love ASOS. Oh, my God. Now I'm broken. But, yeah, these two things. Oh, my God. Let me show you so you can see. Right, so the first item I got was this leather jacket from Topshop. This was £32 in the sale. It's like a cropped fit and it's got a little belt round. It's a bit structured for me at the minute, but I'm hope hoping like when I wear it a bit more, it'll go a bit more looser and like drop at the shoulders and stuff. But obviously it was £32 in the sale and I got 20% off, so I got it for like £27, pound, which is ridiculous because it's Topshop. How good! And then this next item is my favourite thing I've bought. How nice is this coat? It's the brand Dickies um, and then it's just like this camo style all over. It's got like a tightening band at the bottom and then you can also tighten the neck if you want. I think that just keeps you warmer. I don't know. This was, so it's originally £135. 
then it went into the sale for £52 and then I got 20% off of it so I must have got it for like £40. It's literally like a North Face kind of coat. So warm, I cannot wait to wear this in the winter. Camo is my favourite as well, like khaki green and everything, all, like all these colours are literally perfect. But how nice is it? I love it so much. I cannot believe how cheap I got it for. And Dickies, sorry, how cool is that brand? I don't think I'm cool enough for that brand, but yeah. Also, I forgot to say actually, I did order something else from ASOS. I bought, it's like a cream tote bag and then in brown it says North Face in big writing. But it hasn't been delivered yet for some reason. It's, it said it was meant to be delivered, but it hasn't been delivered yet, so I need to check into that. But also bought that. So this coat with my North Face tote bag. Sorry. So nice. Oh my God. I love it so much. And it's such amazing quality. So, and also when I bought it, I got a, I got a size small by the way. And I'm normally like size eight slash six on the top um but when i bought it there were still loads of sizes left like it literally had every single size so if you want it i would get onto asos now and get it because oh my god i'm so, so surprised it wasn't sold out by the way actually i will link everything down in the description box so if you want to look at anything uh, i will link it down below but if it's out of stock i will like put next to the name out of stock Right, now I need to hang everything back up. Oh, I also need to take the blue things off the hangers that I said about at the start of the video. What I might do is hang everything up and then I'll show you after. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll hang everything up, show you after, because my camera battery is going to die again soon, I think. Um, oh, I have just finished putting all the clothes away in the wardrobe and this is what... It is looking like so this is the top this is all like jackets shirts jumpers crop tops bodysuits and then this is all of my trousers so that's skirt shorts joggers jeans but it looks so much more tidy it looks so much better and I love that there's nothing down here anymore except for my docks so yeah that is my wardrobe done now I've got to deal with this over here which I really really do not want to do this is all the clothes that I'm getting rid of um, but I think for now because I do actually need to get ready I might just take those pillows out of there like all that stuff out of there and then pull that into the bag after I quickly do that I think I am gonna actually organize this drawer quickly the top drawer that's where my jewelry hairbands and everything is I'm going to start off by emptying the drawer, I think. I might put everything up on these shelves. That actually fits so perfect. How good is that? Well happy with that. I'm going to put all my perfumes and sprays and stuff in this bit. I have to take the lid off that spray because otherwise it won't fit and that is going to annoy me. So, sprays are in there. Joe's also got some little travel ones, which I can put in here as well. Right, I think I might put my sunglasses into one of these because obviously my sunglasses over here but they don't stay very neat so I think I might just stand them all in here and then on these little trays here I think I might put my necklaces there I think that might work so much better because I need a place for my necklaces because they're currently on my ring bit and obviously that's not what they're for this necklace by the way I bought from TK Maxx I know it's pointless telling you because TK Maxx has random stuff so you probably won't find it again. But you could search showing cups similar. It's gold on one side, silver on the other. So it's like two necklaces in one and it's such good quality and I think it was like 9 99 So yeah, definitely have a look in TK Maxx for jewellery. They have some really good stuff in there. Oh, 
that's an old watch for my nan by the way that's why I have that so I'm gonna have the watches on there and I also have these earring backs I bought these from Shein they were probably like a pound or something but look how many earring backs you get in there they're the rubber ones as well because I feel like the metal ones are rubbish these rubber ones are so much better so yeah I have those also and then I think I might put these grey baskets back in because these are really good storage I just have like utensily bits in there maybe I'll actually put all these bits yeah what I might do is swap my sunglasses because I barely wear those put these there and then I can put hair bands in that one mm, that seems a bit deep for hair bands no I'll keep hair bands in that one actually um, I'm going to put headbands in everything in this one and I also have some like bandanas chuck these in there and then I have these little clips which I don't know where I'm going to store these now actually because I haven't got like a tiny section um, yeah I'm going to put all these utensily but oh I've got my cream sauce band in there actually these are all like um, I keep saying utensily bits and that's probably not the right word to be using but it's like tweezers, eyelash curlers, um, like face shavers nail clippers and I also have some heel shields for my dogs. I have little mini hair bands for when I do like half up half down pigtails and then I have all my clips I have all different kinds of clips so maybe I'll put those in there and then I'll put all those clips on the side of there so that's all together now and I'll just put that at the back of that drawer. Can these go side? By? No that needs to go at the back and I have a anti back gel. I'm going to put that in my car actually. I do have some clips here as well actually, like claw clips. I might put those down the side there. And I have some clips for like when you're doing your makeup, clip your hair back so it's out of your face. This is, oh that's going to annoy me that they're not all in a row. Those are Joe's cufflinks by the way, but yeah, this is what the drawer looks like now. So much more organised. Um, what's all that at the back? I could probably put these a bit neater, but these are just coloured headbands by the way, by from Shein. I bought them to wear to festivals and I don't think I've ever actually wore one. So yeah, that is, that is the drawer complete. Yeah, I thought I'd just show you quickly before I go that I'm switching my candle light on my bedside table. Um, that is my camera charger, whatever, it's there. It looks messy, I know, but this is still here because I really don't have time to organize all that. Um, but I got rid of this candle because it is like empty now and I feel like it didn't really smell of much anymore. And plus it just, I just hate how grubby it looks. So I just want to get rid of it. And I'm going to put this one out. I bought this from, where did I buy this from? Oh, I think this is from HomeSense or TK Maxx, I'm not sure. When I tell you this candle is the best smelling candle I've ever had, honestly, I need to search up if I can get it anywhere else because I do want to... Oh my god. It's so annoying when people smell candles on video. Because you're like, well, that means nothing. Because you're not, you can't smell it, you're not really going to make the effort to go to the shop and smell it. You just gotta trust that it smells absolutely amazing. It, just, just buy it. Just buy it. I need to definitely search up if I can buy any more because I definitely will. Because I want one on each bedside table. I hate how unmatching it is because we have like our bedside lamps and then we have a plant on each one. And I just hate having a candle on one. It really annoys me. And I've got nowhere else to put it in the bedroom. So yeah, I'm gonna search if I've got any more. But I just thought I'd show you because look, the aesthetic on that. Aesthetic? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, that's the right word, isn't it? Wow. Unbelievable, Jeff. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I need to go shower. I'll see you when I get back. I'm going to have a beverage, you know, while I'm getting ready. Um, I need to decide what I'm wearing because I haven't decided yet. Just finished showering and I've sat down to do my makeup. I've just got a copper bird can out of the fridge and I've also got um, like really thin ice cubes so they fit in the can perfectly so it's made it ice cold which is so much better. I've literally got an hour which to be fair is actually alright because I barely ever put that much makeup on. This is my makeup bag by the way. Yeah this that, that is my makeup bag. I've had it for quite a while but actually I'll show you. Um, so it's by uh i think it's mama mitchell or M or mitchell i got it from beauty bay but all your brushes go here then in here you can put like your makeup palettes and everything so i just got a makeup palette in there um and down here it's got loads of, make sure i don't get my toes in it it's got loads of different compartments so it's all organized and you can actually like take these out and you know have it the way you want it um so yeah, it's really really good and I I think I got it when it was in like promotion so I could get money off of it. I think I've said that about every single item I've mentioned in this video because I'm the queen of sales, you know, getting bargains and everything. I love it. Before I do go actually, I did want to mention a couple things like, I know at the start of this video um, I said that I wanted to like get my shit together and all this, which I feel like I have done. Um, you know, I have done quite a bit today and I've cleaned everything that I really wanted to clean. But there was a couple of things that I did want to mention about, you know, like refreshing, resetting and everything. A couple of things that I've done is, this is going to sound so random and so stupid and probably isn't helpful at all to some people. But like on my phone, every time like, you know, I feel like life's just getting... I don't know, life's getting too similar or it's just, you know, every day is the same and you're just dawdling on and nothing's really exciting anymore. Like, a few things I do is I change my wallpaper on my phone. So I change my wallpaper and my home screen. That feels so much more fresher to me. It probably doesn't to other people, but that is like, because obviously you keep a wallpaper for so long, you get so used to seeing it every day. And it's just like, every time you go on your phone, it's something different to look at. It's not the same old thing that you've been looking at every day. So that's one thing I change and like I do little things like this makeup bag I could reorganize this so when I go do my makeup again it's just different it's a different thing to look at also I Thanks. yeah maybe don't do it in these clays because you don't look the best hello Connie's followers <laughs> um can you grab me the straw out of my drink up there just the straw I'm gonna just pass you your drink because I've been dealing with the problem stuff well, do you want the rest of that drink? I don't really want it. I want to have a can. I'm having a can. Cut the cans. Cut the cans. Cheers. You said it tastes really good earlier. Yeah, it did for the first sip, but it don't taste it good now. Maybe you just got to put more juice in it so it overpowers it. Small interruption from Joe. Another thing I wanted to mention, obviously I mentioned changing your wallpaper. So normally my phone is on dark, so like the theme of it is I always have on the dark theme. And I changed it back to the white because I've had the dark theme for like years now. And I just thought that's another change. Like, like look, it's back to white and it looks so much more fresh and everything. So yeah, that's another thing that you could change. Sorry, I keep burping because that's so like gassy. And also I changed the layout of my like home screen. So this is the layout of my home screen now. I made, so this calendar bit used to be like just a little square, but I changed it to like um, a bigger version cause it's got like all my to-do lists and everything like, and what I need to do for that day. So yeah, change, change the layout of your home screen. It makes such a difference. I know that's all to do with your phone and everything, it's probably not that helpful to you, but that is a few things that I change. And then obviously reorganising everything, you just need a refresh. Um, 
I bought some new clothes because normally I am online shopping all the time. I have deliveries all the time. And that's not me being like, oh, I shop all the time and I'm rich. I'm really not rich. Most of the time is on Klarna. Yeah, I'm normally always online shopping and I hadn't for a while. And my wardrobe had just got, like, there was loads of, like, how much stuff I chucked out. Like, it was all in there and I used to wear the same things every day. Like, and I bought stuff that I don't normally buy. So I've, like, refreshed my style a little bit as well. I was thinking, actually... To like switch things up, I was going to get my hair dyed and I was going to get it dyed this colour. But I'm thinking I want to grow my hair back long. I want to show you a picture actually to show you how long my hair used to be. Um, my hair used to be literally so long and then I just chopped it one day because it got a bit thin at the ends and everything. But this is how long my hair used to be. How crazy is that, that my hair used to be that long? I actually can't believe it. And then just one day I just chopped it off. And then I've had it chopped again since that. So I think, like, I want to grow my hair back long, have a bit of a change. And I think it looks really nice long. I do miss it a little bit. I was going to dye my hair to have a bit of a change. But I did speak um, to someone in my family and she said, like, I probably wouldn't dye it if you're thinking of growing out because obviously I've never dyed my hair before so I feel like once I do dye it it's going to start damaging my hair um, but this was the colour I was going to dye my hair I don't know if you can see the colour properly obviously she looks unreal like how fit is she? she is so pretty and obviously she's got a filter effect on so it looks a bit different uh, and she's a lot more tanned than me but yeah um, I was going to dye my hair that colour, but I'm, I'm thinking if I want to grow it out and everything, maybe I shouldn't be dyeing it. Why start dyeing it now when I want to grow it out? Because I feel like that's when you get into the thing. That's another thing, actually, about dyeing my hair. I don't want to have the upkeep. I don't want to, you know, have to keep dyeing it, like, every month and everything. I'm not one of those girls. You know, girls who get their eyelashes done every month, get their nails done every month, get their hair done every month, go get a spray tan. I just, I don't have the time to have the, all that upkeep and everything. I'm such a basic girl and also i don't have the money to be doing all that but my camera is flashing the battery is flashing so i will come back on once my makeup's done and end the video so i just finished getting ready it is now 10 past six so i've got five minutes to spare i just took some selfies quickly and yeah we are shooting off to go for a meal now um so i won't be vlogging for the rest of the night because obviously not quite there yet i will See you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I really, really hope this video was helpful with, you know, not feeling like you're in a rut and I don't know. Or at least if it was just like peaceful to watch or satisfying to watch because, you know, I organised everything. I don't know. If you enjoyed watching it, good. I will see you in my next video. Bye.